Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'll be showing you how to create a really fun shine effect. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. So this text comes in, and you'll notice right there, this shine comes across, like it's actually metal or silver or something like this. And I don't know, it gives it a very, I wanna say, Nintendo-esque sort of feel to it. Um, basically, a lot of them, a lot of times, even in like just sort of any really art, they'll add some light effects. And a lot of times they'll add this light effect going across it and it makes it look like a shine. I remember at the beginning of some Nintendo games, they'll actually add their symbol there and they'll make a shine go across it. It makes it sort of have a fun feel to it and it makes it, you know, it gives it a 3D depth to it as well. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. We're gonna be creating this text that has the shine go across it and we can really make this any color. I'll show you, I'll make the next one gold. So let's just get started with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this sequence out right here. And basically what, how we're gonna start this is we just need to find the point in our, our footage that we wanna create this. And we are just going to go ahead and drag out, or actually in this situation, clicking would be better because then it'll create the text box for us. And we're gonna create something here. We'll just type the exact same text. So um, Nagasaki, Japan, right there. And so now we have some text to work with. And this is in a graphics layer. Now you can do the effect completely and totally right here, but I like to sometimes move mine into another composition so I can make this like golden shine or something like that, golden text shine, sure. Um, and basically what this does is it's going to take the footage, it's going to throw it in its own composition. So if I double click this, now you can see the footage is just all by itself. And this way I can kind of move stuff around without having the distracting background there. So we have this text right here and let's go ahead and highlight it. Let's go into the graphics panel here. Um, once it is selected, we can go into edit, we can click on Nagasaki Japan and the text right here and then we can change the color around. So let's give it a sort of gold color to it. Move it over to maybe like here. I think it may be a little oranger. Maybe actually right there, let's go with here. And so now it's got like this sort of yellowish you know, tint to it, but when we add the shine, it should look pretty good. And if we need to change it around, we can. So now we have this text going, and let's, let's go back into the main composition. Yeah, it's still looking pretty good here. Maybe it's a little bit weird with this color, but we're gonna stick with it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into effects, and then we're going to type in right here, we're gonna search for light. And what we wanna go down to is adjust and then lighting effects. So we wanna click this, and we want to drag it on to this graphics layer right here and you'll see the whole composition goes dark a little bit. So what we need to do right now is we need to not change the text. We need to go down into the lighting effects. So it's going to be on this composition in lighting effects. And what we need to do is we need to create a box here. So we're going to be masking out this lighting effect. We're then going to drag it over to the edge right here. We are going to click it and try to make it sort of like a sideways rectangle. So we're gonna click the points Still need to rotate it there. Uh, but rotating it might be a quick way to do that if that's how you want to do something. And so now we have this sort of, you know, this, this rectangle right here. Now when we move this across, if we go to the mask path right here, we can move this across and we'll get a shine going on when we move it across correctly. So what we want to do here is we want to drop this here and we want to go into the bottom here and we want to make this ambient light intensity really intense. You wanna make it so that it's brighter than the background composition. And it's, now you can see when I drag this over that it's actually shining the inside instead of reducing the inside. We can also add some gloss and stuff like that to it to give it a little bit of character. Um, exposure as well to add even more brightness if you need that. But just sort of come up with a color that works with it and I think this works pretty good. So then we're gonna move it all the way over here to the left. We're going to go up to Mask Path. We're gonna hit the Animation tab. And actually before we do that, yes. Before we do that, let's make the intro um, opacity animation. So we're gonna go up to the very top here, uh, just to the entire clip's opacity. We're gonna drag that down to zero, move this over maybe 15, and then bring this up to 100. This will just make it so it doesn't you know, just jump in there. So now we have this coming into right here. And then at 15, actually a little bit before, I like to start the animation, so maybe at 12, we're then going to go down to the mask path. We're going to click on this button and then click up here so we can actually click it and drag it. So now we're at 12, we've created the, we've toggled the animation. So now we need to move forward however fast you want this to go. I'm gonna go something like 15 or 20 and then we're gonna move this across it like so and then we're gonna stop it right there. And now we'll have it fade in 
and this sort of glean go across it, this metallic glean move across it like it is a piece of metal. And that is really the essence of the effect. Like I said, with lighting like this and animating it, you can do a ton of different effects. And I'll try to cover some of these in the future just because I just found out how to do this stuff. So I'm gonna be having a lot of fun creating the lighting effects because I love creating stuff like this. So that is really it on the tutorial. Once we have this created, all we have to do is go back to the original composition and you'll see Golden Text Shine is, its, is a composition within itself. And so all it does is now I can move this and I can drag and drop it. And if I double click it, I can go re-edit it. Just sort of organize it a little bit better so we don't have a bunch of stuff on top of each other. But like I said, you can do it right in here and it would be perfectly fine as well. So here is the final effect fades in and then the shine goes right across it and you'll see that there's red up here that just means it's a little bit graphics intensive go ahead and click the enter button if you want to go ahead and render those frames out so it doesn't glitch like it just did there um, and then once it's green it should work perfectly fine and be able to play from then on out that is it for this tutorial thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments go ahead and those in the comments section below if you want to see more videos similar to this one go ahead and hit that subscribe button to make a video every other day and until next time guys see ya